Hello and welcome to introduction to Excel for Mac users for Bio 1107 course at UConn. In this video you will be learning how to plot Excel graphs using Mac. We will be looking at two different examples. One is how to plot a line graph or using the XY scatter option and how to plot a bar graph using the column graph option. All the graphs that we are plotting right now in this video you will find the associated raw data on page 24 in your lab manual. To start with Excel, click on the symbol on your Mac. Once you do so, you will find a sheet. Now this sheet is missing something called the formatting palette. To get formatting palette, which will be your friend for many of the applications in Excel, you click on the toolbox over here. Clicking toolbox gives you formatting palette. Now the first example we will be looking is plotting a line graph for the sunflower plant whose height changes over 30 days. On x-axis we have our average, we have our time in days so we will be typing in the value time in days. On y-axis we have our average height whose units are centimeter. So let's quickly go and type in the values. Uh, that's 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. For average height, we have uh, 0, 4, 10, 20, a 35, a 40, a 44, and 45. Okay, once you have all your values in columns A and B, what you will be doing is selecting both the columns. After selecting it, you click on the gallery, which will give you options for what you want to do. We want to plot a graph, so click on charts over here. And once you click on charts, it will again give you different options as to what kind of chart you want to plot. You will click on XY scatter. Once you click on XY scatter, it again gives you option what kind of graph you want to plot. So yeah, you have many options over here. You click on the smooth marked scatter. Once you click over there, voila, you have your graph. Now, this graph has few things which are irrelevant. So what we need to do is type in different options. First thing, you need to change or label the graph. We are also missing the x and y axis labels. All right. So what you do is, okay, let's first remove the legend over here. This is not so relevant. So click on the legend and hit delete. That's going to remove your legend from here. Now we want to change the labels. What you do is in the chart options, there is a pull down menu for the titles. So when you click over here, you get different options. First thing we want to do is change the chart title. So we'll click over here. And the chart title should be, let's say, change in height of a sunflower plant. Sounds good. The horizontal axis value, which is your x-axis and your independent variable. Okay, so let's label that. That's time. And always, always, always mention your units. It's in days. Let's put value for the vertical, vertical y-axis, which is a dependent variable and that's average height units are centimeter and that's pretty much it you have your graph over here which has got a title has got your data over here you have your x-axis whose units uh, are in days it represents time you have your y-axis average height whose units are in centimeter all right now one more thing when you have a graph like this 
you want to paste this into your Word document, all you do is click on the graph outside, okay, right click, copy it, and once you copy, you can open your Microsoft Word. And you can just paste it over there. Now let's look on to another example. So one kind of option that you have in the Excel is to add sheets in the workbooks. So if you click plus over here, we can insert one more sheet. So when you are plotting multiple graphs, you do not have to open multiple workbooks. So I will, la I will label the sheet as my column graph or my line graph. And then we will jump onto a new graph. So click over here, insert sheet, and I'll label this sheet as my bar graph. Okay, so example number two is that of trying to figure out how much each of the coins weigh. So our x-axis values again are let's say coins, and our y value, y-axis values are the weight and that's in grams the different kind of coins that we have are pennies nickels dime and quarter the weight for each of them are 3 grams 5 grams 2.5 3 grams and 5.7 grams again the same thing that we did before uh, select everything and once you select everything now we have to go into the bar graph option so click on the bar graph now you see over here these are bars right but they are not vertical they are all horizontal and that's something which you don't want and that's why we go on to the column graph option where you can see all of them are vertical and that that makes more sense so click on any of the graph over here options over here and you get a graph now this graph has almost almost all the values again just like last time what you have over here is not so relevant uh, so we can remove the legend entry over here by clicking delete Again, we are missing our x and y axis values just like last time and the title over here is not so relevant So let's change all those things chart title uh, Let's say we can label this as weight of different coins The x axis values over here, which is your independent variable is going to be coins so let's write coins and your y-axis value which is your dependent variable is going to be weight and the units are grams so here we go now you have your bar graph ready too and you must be knowing how to do it so when you are having multiple graphs and you want to submit your data to us in your lab reports or anything else instead of plotting multiple graphs what you can do is copy and paste all these graphs in a single sheet or in a microsoft word document just like last time i'll be copying this on the microsoft word document so now you see how neat does this look you have two different graphs pasted on a sheet and you are giving it to your and you are submitting it to the lab so we hope that this videos have been useful to you so that's it and good luck plotting graphs in excel